Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the fifth season here in the Coaching Carousel Dynasty. Last season, we turned around Maryland, going from zero wins all the way to nine. But this year is going to be a big challenge, mainly because we have a quarterback issue, Shiv Kishore. A lot of interceptions last year, a lot of mistakes, but he is a dual threat. But do we turn to freshman quarterback Mac Anderson, who has a big arm and has an accurate arm as well? We are starting to get some notoriety at the high school ranks, particularly a lot of top 250 prospects are looking to come to Maryland. This is a big step in the right direction in this series. But we have a big, big challenge to open the season going up against Iowa, a team who runs the ball pretty heavily. Jason Patterson is their lead running back. He had two touchdowns in the opener and a big win. And their defense is no slouch either. So can Maryland get off to a quick start? We are ranked in the top 30 to start this season. Let's get this season underway. Josiah Ducks, the Jet Award winner will receive the opening kickoff. He has a couple of blocks. He hits the hard. He makes one man miss to the 40, and he makes another one miss. He's going to take it all the way. What a way to open the season. 99 yards, Josiah Ducks, and he is just amazing and electric. He was that way last year. It's 7 nothing. What a way to start this season out with a bang. Here's Iowa on offense. Barfield throws two and open man Penne Jolly, who is open for the first down. Maryland's defense hasn't improved much over the offseason. Some would say we may have gotten worse also. There's another throw to Scott McDuffie across the middle. I think the defense is the one spot I'm kind of worried about a little bit. The offense isn't that great either, but we'll see what happens. Here's Barfield going down. And that is the first sack of the season. Connor Summerfield gets in there. Third and 12. Barfield throws across the middle. McDuffie again. He's hit hard. That's going to be well short of the first down marker. And they have to settle for three on that opening drive. So here's Ellis Holmes getting one of his first carries up the middle. That one will go for a gain of six. Holmes had a big season last year rushing for 800 yards. As we get it to a third and inches, quick throw across the middle looking for Clancy Yarbrough. It's knocked away, but Coach wants to go for this early on. Is he trying to draw him offside? No, he snaps it. Ellis Holmes has the first down and more down the right sideline to the 30. He steps out of bounds at the 24. 47 yards. It took probably until game number nine to get a play that long from Ellis Holmes last season. So here is Justin Carter, the freshman tight end, getting a jet sweep. He's getting involved. He's a name to watch out for this season. Third and seven inside the 15. Shiv Keyshore tries to get rid of this one. It falls to the ground. One of four only for four yards through one quarter for Shiv Keyshore. It's 10-3. So here is Barfield throwing across the middle. That one in the traffic. Ali Carnage almost had an interception. It falls to the ground. A risky throw by Barfield. It's third and 10 now. Here's a screen pass out to the running back, Patterson, and he gets about seven yards. Maryland will take back over on offense. So Shiv Keyshore set up after a good return. This is an early fourth and two. Here's a carry. Josiah Ducks has it for the first down. Josiah Ducks is going to be a guy we're going to use a lot, but he is shaken up on that play. So fresh set of downs now at the 33-yard line. Here's Keyshore trying to buy some time. He's just going to take it himself with his legs. He takes a big hit. It's a gain of seven. Keyshore getting it to the 25. It's a second and three. He throws across the middle. He was looking for Johnny Russo. It's intercepted. Johnson has it. And just take a look. He was looking for Russo, but he just missed the window. He should have thrown it a little bit earlier right there. Probably would have been a completion. And now Iowa takes back over under two minutes to go. Barfield throws to the sideline. Vanderbush has a block downfield. He gets hard, hit hard. But that's going to be a gain of 23. It's a first down. Now they're set up at about the 31. Barfield in the pocket. Has all day. Tries to get rid of it. It's a sack by Isaiah Ripley. 
and that's his first sack of the season. Remember, he had the biggest offseason of anybody on the squad going up plus six overall after training. Third and 17, Barfield lobs it to the sideline, caught by Jamar Green, gain of 11. And they will line up to kick the field goal, but they will run a fake, and there's a throw across the middle to the tight end, Sorensen. Maryland did not see that one coming. The backup quarterback, Carson May, converts the first down. Under 20 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's a throw across the middle. It's picked off. MJ Kennard, he has it, and we do get them to not score any points here in the end zone in the first half. It's only 10 to three. The only touchdown so far is the opening kickoff return. So here we go, second half action. Barfield trying to move the football like he did earlier in this game in the second quarter, but he's gonna go down to open the second half. And that's the third sack of the game. John Plenter gets to the quarterback. That's a department we really, really struggled with last year, getting after the quarterback. But a third and 19, draw play. He needed 19. He only got 14. So Maryland comes back out onto the field. Look who's at quarterback. It's the freshman Mac Anderson here for an early third down conversion. Here he rolls to the left side. Nobody open. A little bit of a coverage, uh, I guess, snap right there by the defense. Great job holding us to a punt on that drive. As Iowa is back out onto the field, Jason Patterson gain of 10. Second and inches, hand off to Smith, the backup running back, and he picks up eight as well. So under center this time, close to the 45. Barfield moving in the pocket, throwing down the right sideline, wide open Brasher inside the 10. He puts the football on the ground, but it's fumbled out of bounds. And now Iowa set up inside the 10 threatening to score here in the red zone. They have a first and 10 now. Barfield throws to a wide open Penne Jolly touchdown. 10 yards out. That was easy. Iowa ties this ball game up. So 10-10. Here's Keyshore throwing across the middle. Johnny Russo has it for a gain of 17. That is the longest completion of the day by Shiv Keyshore. So here we go in the pocket. Loading up, going to deep to Levante St. Brown. Intercepted for the second time today. Looking for Levante. Levante has not been open today at all. But our defense is playing pretty well. There is a run that time. Jason Patterson loses two. And they eventually get into a third and 16. All the way back at the 34-yard line. Barfield throws to the right side. And that's an open Penne Jolly again. A gain of 27, beating the defense. Into the fourth quarter now. Another third and seven. Barfield throwing deep. And somehow, Jamar Green gets behind the defense. It's a touchdown. How does that happen? Draco Linston had the deep zone. And it's now 17-10 in Iowa's favor. So here is Ron Smith in the game, filling in for Josiah Ducks. He finds some space, and he's off to the races. He makes a man miss. Two kick returns for a touchdown for Maryland. Josiah Ducks was shaken up in the second quarter, I believe that was, and Ron Smith comes in and runs a kick return back. It's 17 all with three minutes to go. Here is Barfield, under center, throw it to the right side. Sorensen's got it. It's a gain of 17 yards and a first down. So two minutes to go. Here's a handoff from the pistol, a little counter for play that time, and that one isn't going to work. It's going to bring it to a third and five. Iowa's been here before, and let's see if they convert. Snap from the shotgun. Barfield finds Matthews, only got four on that one, needed five. And they are going to line up to go for it. A fourth and one. We will stack the box right here. They run the draw play. Patterson taken down in the backfield. That's a loss of three yards. And now Maryland has some short field to go to get into field goal range. So here's Keyshore now. The first play, a middle screen. It looks like it's not open. Keyshore decides not to throw this when he throws it out of bounds. 
but they are going to call a legal man downfield, which is offensive pass interference in this game. We're all the way back at the 33 now for a second and 20. Here's Keyshore. Iowa only rushes three. He buys time, throws across the middle with Slavante St. Brown. His first catch of the day. 30 yards, 4 of 13 for Shiv Keyshore. Just think about it. That was 30 yards. He only got 59 yards passing. Only 29 yards before that completion just now. Here's a quick throw. It's Jace Washington across the middle trying to get inside the 30, and he does just that. It's now a third and two. Handoff. Ellis Holmes. He has the space. He has a first down. And now we're in the field goal range. The kicking unit will come out onto the field with two seconds to go. We bring in our kicker and stringer. The kick is right down the middle. Maryland starts out the season 1-0. What a bizarre game that was. The only two touchdowns Maryland score are both on special teams. No offensive touchdowns. Only 67 yards passing. 5 of 15 for Shiv Keyshore. Ellis Holmes ran for 69 yards. We did not have the ball on offense like pretty much at all this entire game. And mostly because we were on defense and then our special teams touchdowns, we didn't have to have the offense out on the field. Just a bizarre opening to the season. MJ Kennard did have that big interception before halftime. That was huge. And then Devon uh, Barfield, two touchdowns, one interception. And then Patterson ran for 51 yards. And just looking at the difference between the two of us, we were terrible. 206 on third down, 159 yards of total offense to their 346. They had 15 touched first downs to our six. That's just incredible. And we somehow ended up with the win. And with that win, we move into the top 25 already. So one game in, we're already in the top 25. It's just incredible. We have UCF next. They are also in the top 25. So hopefully we defeat them and move up the rankings. But Shiv Keyshore had a terrible game. Do we stick with him or do we turn to the freshman? I guess we'll have to see next episode. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.